Welcome. This is an interesting session where we would be talking about data sources. Now, when we specifically talk about data sources, data sources in case of population can be collected through various ways. Some of the most common ones that we follow in India is census. We have the civil registration system. Uh, uh, a modified version of that we could say is the sample registration system. We'll talk about all of these in detail in today's lecture. But this is just an overview about how we would proceed. This then the next that comes is the family health survey, the district level survey, NSSO, that's the National Sample Survey Organization, the central statistical organizations and other divisions. Now, what is really important, whenever there is a policy formulation, it has certain principles and rules that are to be followed. Now, these principles and rules, when they are to be followed, they would require certain regulatory measures, there would be laws funding priorities which would be associated to it, various development outcomes and then these could be either related to health, it could be related to environment, it could be related to family welfare. All of these parameters have to be taken into account as we proceed. So data sources primarily can be collected either through a census survey or a sample survey. What is census? The word census comes from the Latin word sendre, which actually means a registration of the population, not just the population, the property as well. That's the um, literal meaning of the word from Latin that is senre and this means registration of the population as well as registration of the property. Now when we do a uh, census survey it is a systematic survey which is conducted and this survey gives an account about the given members of the population. A lot of details about them could be collected, for example, their age, gender, uh, occupation, religion, caste, class, and then uh, their housing conditions and numerous other parameters that you want to collect can be part of this census survey. Usually, the census survey is done every 10 years. In some nations, it is done every 5 years as well. In India, technically, the census survey is conducted every 10 years. However, the last census survey was conducted in 2011. Post that till 2024, there has been no census survey which has been conducted. Now, this data which is collected through the census is really important because it is an exhaustive data. So far, when the electronic format was not available, these were physical books that were piled and there are seven sections under which the census survey works, right? So all of them, the data was collected. Now with the electronic version, the records are electronic and the calculations and the statistics could be revealed at a faster pace. Now what is sample survey? Sample survey, I say this is the universe and this is the sample, right? So rather than doing a survey on the complete population, what I do is I pick up a sample and I do the, uh, the analysis on that sample, right? This is called as a sample survey. Sample survey is relatively lesser, um, uh, lesser exhaustive and lesser expensive in contrast to census survey because you are doing it for a limited set of population. Now what are the agencies that are involved with the surveys in India? So three primary agencies, one is Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare which conducts the National Family and Health Survey. The last one is the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Besides these ministries, there are institutions, national institutions like Indian Institute of Population Studies based in Mumbai. You have various population research centers across the 14 different universities at the state and the uh, union territory level. Then there is a National Institute of Health and Family Welfare which is engaged, all of these are engaged in collecting the data. So you have the field officers which go to the field, have the data collected and then it is processed further, right? Then at the global level, you have the World Health Organization, United Nations uh, Children's Fund, right? So that's in the Children's Emergency Fund. So that's again an important um, center that collects the uh, information and then of course the World Bank. So three important agencies at the international level, the agencies at the 
national level all of these work for collecting the data so the main idea is to have the people onto the field get the information collected and finally that inf information is being uh, absorbed right so let's talk about the three ministries, the three agencies which are involved. So as we said, Ministry of Home Affairs, it is related with three important surveys. That's the Census of India conducted every 10 years. The next is the Civil Registration System, uh, which talks about complete um, uh, counting or enumeration, which is done through the registration. And then Simple Registration, which does the same thing, but on a sample, not the complete population. So all these three uh, surveys are conducted under Ministry of Home Affairs. The next is Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, which conducts the National Family Health Survey and District Level Household Survey. Both of these are sample surveys. Or both of these have been, uh, there have been three rounds for both of these. So we'll talk about these as we proceed further in the next lecture. So that's again really, really important how the National Family Health Survey and the District Level Household Survey works and what were the additions or the developments that were done in the next round of these surveys. The last is the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. It has three important surveys. Socioeconomic survey, which is again a kind of all these three are sample surveys again. So um, socioeconomic survey, Annual Survey of Industries and Agriculture. So one talks about the socio-economic living conditions. The second talks about industries and the third talks about agriculture. Now, the most important thing is the National Sample Survey Organization, NSSO, which was established in 1970 under the aegis of Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation conducts these surveys. So these surveys have been under the recommendation of National Statistical Commission, which was established in 2005. And this committee actually gave the recommendations in 2006 to coordinate and conduct the various activities under NSSO. So these all the three surveys are conducted as part of the initiative of NSSO. Now note, all the surveys conducted under Ministry of Statistics are sample surveys. Even those under Ministry of Health are sample surveys. Only the one which is under the Ministry of Home Affairs, that is Census of India, is a complete enumeration along with the civil registration system. So these are the complete enumerations. The remaining all are sample surveys. So only Ministry of Home Affairs, we can say, has the authority for complete survey, right? All of the others have the authority for sample surveys to be conducted. Now, census in India is really interesting. If we talk about Chanakya's Earth Shastra, it was 3rd century BC and at that time, collecting data was required. Then we have the collection again referred to in Aine Akbari. So it was at the time of uh, the rule of Akbar. The first census in India was in 1871-72. However, this was not synchronous and was spread over the 1867-72.